Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem monotonic array. We're given an array that is either monotone increasing or monotone decreasing and that means that either the values are strictly in greater than or equal order, meaning the values are pretty much sorted in ascending order. Now we could have values like adjacent values that are equal to each other. This still counts as monotone increasing. And of course you could have the opposite. So basically take this and reverse it and you'll get four, three, three, two, one. This is monotone decreasing. So to put it simply, the values are sorted either in increasing order or decreasing order where yes, adjacent values can be equal which is also true when you're sorting values. Just thinking of it in terms of sorting is a lot more simple than kind of this like very specific definition. Now given an array nums, which may not be monotone increasing or decreasing, we want to determine if it is one of these two things. If it is, we return true. If not, we return false. So it's not like a super difficult problem. Like the very, very straightforward way is to kind of have two loops. Like the most simple way would be to have two loops, one to determine if it's monotone increasing. If it is, we return true. If it's not, then we have our second loop, which checks if it's monotone decreasing. If it is, we return true. If not, we return false. Now, there's actually a couple more simple ways to do it. And we already talked about how one monotone increasing, when you reverse it, it becomes monotone decreasing. So one way to solve this problem would be to take an array and if it's let's say in this form meaning that like the two end points because that is the easiest way to check if it should be monotone decreasing like if these two values if you take the difference between these and it's negative like if you take one minus four and it's negative then we're going to take this and reverse it and put it into possibly a monotone increasing form. Now, there's no guarantee by taking the difference of the endpoints. Like in the middle, we could have some really big number like nine. That's not a problem though, because when we take this and we reverse it, we're expecting the array to be monotone increasing. So at that point, like the reason I'm saying if the array is in this form, meaning like the two endpoints, the difference is negative, we take it and reverse it is because then we only need a single loop. We expect it to be monotone increasing. And if it's not monotone increasing, then we return false. If it is, we return true. What if the endpoints are not like negative, the delta is not negative, or if the array was already in this form, well then yeah, we would still expect the array to be monotone increasing. What if the two endpoints were equal? Well, technically if all the values are equal, that still counts as monotone increasing. So that's a very simple way to do it. Technically by reversing the string, you are looping over the array twice one to reverse the string and then once for us to determine if it's monotone increasing which by the way how would we do it we would just compare adjacent values and make sure every adjacent pair is the left value is less than or equal to the right value we do that for every single pair so let me quickly show you this solution it is linear time complexity no extra memory so like i mentioned we're going to first take the delta of nums of length the rightmost value and subtract nums of the beginning. And actually in Python, you don't even need to take the length. You can just use the negative one index. Both of these are equivalent. And basically if this is less than zero, let's call nums.reverse and reverse the array. Now we expect the array to be monotone increasing. Let's go over every pair in the array. And the reason I'm going up until the length minus one is because for I, we're gonna expect I plus one exists because we're gonna compare, of course, adjacent pairs. So we're gonna check if nums of I is less than or equal to nums of I plus one. This is good. This means it is monotone increasing. But what if this was actually not the case? The easiest thing, at least for me to do, is just take this and find the negation of it. If this is not the case, 
then we are going to return false. It's not monotone increasing. If it is, like if we go through the entire array, never execute this, then out here, we're gonna return true. Let's quickly run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does. It's pretty efficient, but there is one more solution I wanna quickly show you. And that is theoretically, we could iterate over this array once. And we could actually check two comparisons. Instead of just checking if this is the case, like the pairs are less than or equal, the adjacent pairs, we could also simultaneously check the other thing that they're greater than or equal. We expect at least one of these to be true. So we're gonna loop and we're gonna have two if statements inside of the loop, one checking this and another checking this. Now, in my opinion, if you have two if statements in the loop, it's kind of equivalent to the previous solution that we had where we had two loops anyway, but it's not really a big deal. This is just a different way to do it. Now, how do we keep track of which one of these was the case? And it's actually possible that both of these are valid. That would be if all the values were equal, of course, then it's technically monotone increasing and decreasing. Like what if at some point, it was not the case. Like maybe at this point, the less than or equal did not hold up. Or maybe at this point, the greater than or equal did not hold up. How do we know? How do we keep track of that? The easiest way is to have two Boolean flags. One flag is gonna check if it's monotone increasing. Initially, we're gonna set that to true. Same for decreasing. We're gonna have this flag and initially it's also gonna be set to true. In other words, we're assuming that it's both monotone increasing and decreasing. And we're gonna iterate through both of the arrays. And as long as this equality holds, in the array, we're gonna assume that the array is monotone increasing. But if one of these did not hold, we would set this increase value, the Boolean, we would then set it to false. Like if we found a single one where it doesn't hold, we set this to false. Same thing with a decreasing. If we find a single adjacent pair where the quality does not hold, the comparison does not hold, then we'll set decrease to false. By the end, of the array at least one of these should be true like if one of these is true we're going to return true if both of them are false we're going to return false and this is a very precise way not only to know if the array is monotone increasing or decreasing but it technically could be both and this solution actually would tell us that if both of these are true by the end of our solution so this is a similar solution, and technically this is one pass, same time complexity, same memory complexity. Let's code it up now. Okay, so I'm gonna have my two Booleans increase and decrease, and they're both gonna be set to true initially, and then we're gonna do the same thing we kinda did, iterate over the array, uh, the length minus one, because we're gonna compare adjacent pairs. And in here, we're gonna do our comparisons, and then by the end, you tell me, what are we gonna return? Are we gonna return increase, or are we gonna return decrease, or are we gonna return the increase or decrease? Like if at least one of these is true, we return true. If neither are true, we return false. So that's what we're gonna return. Now, as far as the comparisons, it's also, again, pretty simple. The first one is gonna be the same as before. Nums of i is less than nums of i plus one. If that's true, then it is monotone increasing. Well, if it's less than or equal. And we can do these comparisons multiple ways. Like you can do whichever one you prefer. This means it is monotone increasing. So I can put a not in front of it. This means it's not monotone increasing. Or I could have just changed the comparison. I could have just done this. This also means, if I, and if I get rid of the negation, this also means it's not monotone increasing. You can do whichever one you prefer. I guess this is kind of the most simple, but if it's not for you, feel free to do the other one. So this means it's not monotone increasing. So we change increase to false. And same thing here. With uh, monotone decreasing, we expect the left value to be greater than or equal to the one to the right. But if this is not the case, then it's not monotone decreasing and we set decrease 
to false. Technically, only one of these would execute in a single iteration. So we could put else if, but it doesn't really matter. So this is the whole code. Now let's run it to make sure that it works. And I forgot to put the equal sign here. Sorry about that. But as you can see, it works. It's pretty efficient. The runtime is a bit different, but I wouldn't really pay much attention to that. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io and I'll see you soon.